you mentioned Taylor Richards there. I know you said a few weeks ago um, that you you're going to give him time away from sort of the, the match day squad just to get his fitness up. Is he in a position now where he is sort of maybe able to start, or is it still kind of blooding him in? He's in a position to start. It's whether I feel that he he's ingrained enough in in the squad. You know. I have a very uh, privileged position that I get to see him every day in training and and he's training, say, you know, if players are doing three or four K, he's doing five or six. It's a boy that's not played much from Christmas down. So there's not a really a base there. During the international break, it gives him a chance to play in a couple of the B team games and a couple of the behind closed doors games that we got. So for someone like Taylor, that's going to be invaluable. I probably held him back a little bit, Ian, if I'm honest, because we had a period where we had no Chris and no Tyler and I just felt having Taylor on the on the bench, he could come on for 10 or 15 minutes if we needed him to and, and create something from nothing because he does have those qualities. So since that period, since we got Chris and, and, and then we got Tyler back, obviously, and lost him again. But once we got Chris back and Luke, I felt it was a chance for him to really push his fitness. Um, and by leaving him out, I've not, you know, not had that minus one session where he's not doing so much, like, because the team are preparing for the game. So... He's ready to go. I think he can give us 45 to 60 minutes of of, of, of really at the quality that, it, that he, he is capable of. I'm also mindful that when you put a player on a pitch, the public obviously have an opinion based on that performance. And I need to be fair to him because he's a young boy that's got a lot of potential. And I think our fans should be optimistic about what he can bring to the club, both short to, to mid-term. What 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 do you see as his sort of best rival? Is it like an eight or a ten or seven? What what sort He's of a left foot? He could be a left footed Tim in certain elements in terms of take away the defensive side, but in terms of dribbling and carrying the ball, he would be an ideal replacement for a Tyler Roberts or Chris Willock. So I've lost a lot. You know, I've lost a lot with them three players not being available. You know, I'd love to find a moment when them two are fit. You know, Tyler and Taylor along with Chris and Ilias, because I think. We would see some some fantastic interplay, um, and so look, I'm, I'm I'm I don't want to put the boy under too much pressure or rush him too soon, but I know that we've signed a very very good player there, and he's going to be our boy come the summer. So it's important that I make decisions based on the long term with 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 Taylor to enable him to to find full fitness because I really do feel that he's a player that can help us a lot moving forward. He's a, he's an ideal player for me and my staff to work with all our years of experience. He's a player that we can really help, you know, find a, a home in football, if you like back here. He's obviously from Shepherd's Bush originally. So it's lovely to have him back home, if you like, in his, in his home area, but I want him to make QPR his home now. The injury happened while he was training with QPR, you know, so it's not like this is an injury that he's carried over from his time at Brighton. The injury happened on our watch. He was training with us and, and, and it's happened. And I think that we're all very, very optimistic and excited about what Tyler, Taylor, sorry, Tyler and Taylor, I get, get me tongue twisted with them too. But yeah, if Richo and Robbo, we call them to try and help ourselves out. But yeah, I'm, I'm hugely excited by what Taylor's future looks like. And obviously, uh, that hopefully will be will play out in a QPR jersey. He's a player that was bought with a conveyor belt in mind. There was some succession planning, knowing that there's some vultures out there that might come and knock on the door for one or two of ours in the coming years if they achieve what we want them to achieve. And he is very much part of us putting a conveyor belt in place that, that we have a sustainable uh, squad and some succession planning so that if people do come and buy one or two of ours that we have players like Taylor coming behind that's the work we're doing with Sinclair Armstrong and other young players in, the, in and around the club as well 